Hi, it's Bruce St. James sitting here with Dr. Bigham, the CEO of Novo Cure. Now, Doc, I've heard you say sitting is the new smoking. What do you mean by that? <laughs> right. Well, you remember kind of a generation ago when we had so many people that we know in our older generation that smoked. All the time. All of the uh, negative health conditions that developed out of that. A lot of lung cancer, emphysema, a lot of cardiovascular disease as a result of smoking. And now what they're discovering is now we are so computer oriented and we are so sedentary that that is now producing a lot of health issues such as cardiac issues, mm. weight gain, diabetes, high, uh, high cholesterol. And so how does that happen? That's the question. Why does it happen? How can sitting cause that? And what they found in research studies is that the longer we sit every day, there is an enzyme that's in our blood stream every day and it's called lipoprotein lipase. It breaks down fat. The longer we sit during the day, the less activity that enzyme it has to in drop our bloodstream. Off. Right, yeah. so that's the enzyme that helps break down and metabolize fat. So they also call this metabolic syndrome. That's sure. the real name for this. So the problem is that because we sit so many hours a day, I mean, some of us are 15 hours a day. When you wrap up drive time to work, sitting at work, typing at the computer all day, getting home, driving home, sitting in front of the, the couch TV, potato, right? right? Okay. Playing some games or whatever at the end of the it night. It happens. 15 hours, you have some very low lip wow. lipoprotein lipase enzyme activity. It makes right? perfect sense. So they're saying that even if you work out every day an hour at the gym, say right. on the way home, that is not enough to elevate that enzyme activity back to normal levels. And so you're going to have trouble with weight gain, diabetes, low HDL, which is your good cholesterol, and all of these different complaints, health complaints that arise out of being too sedentary and sitting for too long. All so, right, you've terrified me. I know, right? I, I spend a lot of time sitting, obviously. Right? Um, I do too. What can we do about it? So what we want to do is we want to stay moving. Even if you're at a job where you're sitting all day. At a desk or right, a cubicle. Right. Sitting for more than 20 minutes at a time without changing that position is not good. So what we want to do is you want to constantly kind of fidget and move and contract muscles, change your seating position. Can you tell my mom this? <laughs> She's been problem? telling me to stop fidgeting now for quite some up. time. Yeah. And I, I, if we could get this through. I was her. in the same boat with you. Okay. I had a little problem I have trouble still sitting for, still. <laughs> yeah, I do too. So that's good. It's actually good. You know, uh, in the long run, you want to be kind of moving around during the day. So even the posture, you know, we've always been told that we should sit up straight, mm -hmm. you know, sit up straight at your desk in right. school. Right, shoulders back, sit up. Yeah, and what actually... Put your back in the chair. Yeah, put your back. Now they're saying actually kind of slumping down in the chair for a few minutes every hour is actually good. It takes the pressure off your sitting bones. Oh, you up, up, so you up, kind of up, sit up, back up, 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 oh, and yeah. you... They, oh, yeah. There's even certain um, stands that you can set your... Uh, laptops on so it, you can lift up the angle of it and it locks it in place so that you can sit there and type from this position and everything is in a good ergonomic position still so they're even making ergonomics apparatuses to help with your laptop and, and things like that at okay. your desk so just changing that seating position for a few minutes now there's other ways that we can utilize more muscle activity and it uh, involves not using the chair to sit in so maybe you sit in the chair for 40 minutes out of the hour mm -hmm. but every once in a while you know what you roll you're rolling off oh the chair out of the way Chairs yeah, out of yeah. the way and then here i've got just a therapy ball right oh yeah yeah and we can sit on the therapy ball and when you sit on the therapy ball instead of a regular office chair you got to kind of stabilize your core. You got to activate your core muscles now to balance on the ball. And now you're exerting a lot more. You're burning more energy and you're going to help elevate that enzyme activity in your body and you're moving around and it gives you a little bit of a different feel sure. and you're not, you know, feeling like you're in the same spot all day long. Now, another thing that you can do is this right here is called the BOSU ball. It's kind of like a half ball. Yeah. Right? So am I going to do the BOSU ball? You're going to be a BOSU ball man. I'm BOSU ball man. I'm going to kneel on it? Yeah. So you Whoa. kneel on it with Whoa. both knees. Okay. And you can see how that puts you at just at around the right height, ergonomically mm -hmm. speaking, to sit in front of your computer. And, now and I'm and I'm using different muscles right now just, to, muscles, just yeah. to stay balanced. Isn't that you know? neat? Yeah. Yeah. And so, and it gives you, an, again, a different feel for that position that you're in all day. You're not just in the, in the same sitting position all day, which becomes boring and, you know, it makes you kind of look Well, and the, and the sedentary aspect of it, it makes perfect sense. Yep. I mean, you don't have to look far to see the ill effects of people that, that just sit around all day. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. So, so these are simple, easy things that people can do. And obviously, getting up periodically, taking a walk around your office or down the hall and back, going to the bathroom and back, those things kind of help keep you moving and keep that enzyme activity higher. You just don't want to sit in one position all day long. Your muscles get rigid. Your ligaments and tendons start to shrink up on you. You begin to have more back problems, neck problems. 
just keeping moving. Think about these different ways that you can sit during the day. Even if you're only kneeling on this for five minutes out of the hour, it's a different position, it's a different feel, and that helps get that enzyme activity and get your muscles moving and activate different muscles in your body. Well, and what I like about it is it's not uncomfortable. No. It, it, you know, sitting in a chair, yeah, but this is not an uncomfortable position by any right. stretch of the imagination, no. No. And, and neither is sitting on the, right. the therapy ball, so it's not like you're doing something that is painful or difficult yeah, it's sure. just different yeah exactly so and it's you know these don't take up that much room you can just have them sit in the corner a corner in your office and then just hey you're just going to implement them at different times during the day whenever you feel like it gives you shakes it up a little bit there you have it uh, avoid avoid the couch potato syndrome right, you, right. you call it metabolic syndrome <laughs> i understand and then there was another one that was way too long for me to remember you can avoid it just with some of these simple exercises yeah, absolutely. and you know what you learn it all from dr bigham the ceo of novocure you can find out more information and dr biggs always putting out good information online, novocure.com. It's N-O-V-O-C-U-R.com.